<laughs> Can we please cancel cancel lethal weapon already? Okay. Yes, next story. Just move on to the next one. Yes, cancel it. No, I'm just kidding. No, no look. Let, let me let me give you guys some insight. Like, why are we talking about Lethal Weapon, this subpar show on the Fox Network? I will tell you why, my friends. <laughs> I was going to ask you, why are we talking about this? Because, yes, it should be canceled. First off, I watch Lethal Weapon. All right, well, that, that answers it right there. I like Lethal Weapon. I like it because of the man you see there on the right. The actor that plays Riggs. I'm, I guess name is like Cleve or Clyde or is a really good actor. Um, and when he was asked to do the role of Riggs, he was given a lot of promises that he would be able to take the story in the direction he wanted to take it. Except for the Wayne's brother on the left. Damon. Damon Wayne's that plays uh, Murdoch uh, no. decided that he didn't like the guy that plays Riggs, and he didn't want to do the show in the first place. He wanted to do a different show, and basically Fox said, "Hey, come do this show." And you, and when you, when we're done with it, and you want to do your uh, this show that you want to do, we'll consider it. So he never really wanted to do *Lethal Weapon*, but *Lethal Weapon* was actually a hit. Why was it a hit? Because the guy on the right that plays Riggs, okay, helped write, help direct, put the time in really made a show that was special. And I'm telling you, this show, well, I first thought it was going to be stupid and dumb and explosion had some, had a lot of heart, guys. The, first, the, the two seasons of this, this show that went on had a lot of heart, great writing, great acting from Riggs. Definitely I mean, being mailed in by, the, by Damon Wayans. Damon Wayans made the environment on that set so toxic. You know, I've seen handle hits better than you did yesterday. Suck me. I mean, that was the biggest move I think I've yeah, ever seen. You're yeah. the biggest crybaby I've ever met in my life. Yeah, who wants to like this? I mean, how does it feel to only be in the game because you're? So it gets better. So they were so they replaced this guy without telling this guy. This guy was ready to quit anyways, but before they can quit, they replace him. Right? And he was right. only he was ready to quit because of of how toxic it was working with Damon Wayans. But guess what? He's such a good freaking actor. You couldn't even tell that on stage, on the screen. You would think they were best friends in real life. I'm not joking. Okay. Now, Damon Wayans, being attached to these two young actors, is deciding that he no longer wants anything to do with Lethal Weapon. So Lethal Weapon is no longer Mm. going to have Riggs and Murdoch. (laughs) It's going to be two completely different characters. What? Just cancel the show. There's no Riggs or Murdoch anymore. Cancel the show. Lethal Weapons, fantastic movie with Mel Gibson, Danny Glover. Fantastic movies that I absolutely loved in the 80s. Uh, Damon Wayans, Brian, is um, he's the best of the Wayans brothers. So he's much better than Marlon and much better than his younger brother. Sure. Damon is, Damon is homie, don't play that, bro. Damon is the funny one. He's had his own shows, My Wife and Kids. Yeah. He's had success on TV. Yeah. He was not carrying this show, bro. No, he wasn't carrying. He's not show. carrying the show. And let me tell you what, Damon Wayans got jealous. Oh, That's what happened. Here. Oh, it was clear. I actually listened to a podcast with the guy that plays Riggs talking about his time with Damon Wayans. Damon Wayans would decide that he was too tired to film an action shoot. And for two or three days where they're shooting this shoot, he would have his stunt double being inside and all the shots that showed his face damon waynes would shoot on a green screen in his trailer wouldn't even leave his trailer for three days the guy was such a prima donna that it made it impossible to made it more expensive made it harder on everybody just to make the show in the first place i mean it's not just that he's a prima donna brian he's lazy you know damon waynes should have been a movie star damon waynes should have been in movies for a long time i mean the, the the skill level of his humor and his comedy was so good at the same time that jim carrey was coming out he was holding his own bro that's true i mean damon wayans was funny and he should have been in a lot of movies and did a lot of stuff but the reality is damon wayans is lazy you know and he wants it to be easy and unfortunately in hollywood good actors have to work hard 
and he's getting his butt beat by this kid and he don't want to do it. And, you know, all due respect to Damon Wayans. I, I like the guy. I really love what he does, but he screwed this up, you know, in a serious way. And yeah. now you got Sean William Scott coming in for, for next season. They killed off um, Riggs. And now, you know, Damon and Damon's going to come back like this. Yeah. I got rid of that guy. Yeah. I got rid of him. Right. And now the show's over 13 episodes into the next season. Boom. The show's going to be gone. They're not going to keep going because he's gone. Damon Wayans is gone. Are they going to yeah. carry on with Sean William Scott and the new, yeah. the new girl? And the problem was Damon Wayans didn't want to do it in the first place, and he made it clear. And I think you're totally right that this young guy was, you know, Damon Wayans is an older guy in his 50s, right? And this young guy yeah. in his 30s is showing him up, working hard, no. working 16-hour days, rewriting scripts. He's direct. He directed half the episodes in season two. You know, helping stunt coordinators, doing his own stunts. The show is about rigs. This guy is, I'm telling you, the the, the person who carried this story forward was the rigs character. And I well, watched yeah. it. And when I first saw that first episode, I thought, I'm watching it because I like the movies. It's probably a piece of garbage TV, TV show. And I was delightfully wrong about that. This, movie, this show was yeah. actually very good. But it wasn't good because of Damon Wayans. He did fine. It was good because of the Riggs character. Well, and, and that's true. And in the movies, it was about, it was about Martin Riggs. Um, and it was about the relationship between him and his partner. You know, nobody wanted to partner up with him. And so I think the TV show really did a good job of, of capturing that feeling initially. It's too bad. I mean, it got three seasons. It's going to go into, I think, three, three seasons, right? That's it. Yeah. And, third third um, season is going to be without Riggs. It's going to be with Sean William Scott and somebody else. You know, Sean William Scott, he can't carry his own TV show, period. I mean, he's, he's a funny guy in his own right, and sometimes he can't carry a TV show. This show is not going to continue. So, yeah, it, you just don't be surprised if it's canceled going into next year. Well, I mean, that's the thing, too, is like he, the Damon Wayne, the Murdoch character, he played the straight guy, but he was also like the guy that would re react the way the audience would to what was happening on screen. So he had right. the... The comedy was on him, as you know, sort of on him um, to react appropriately. Now you have Sean William Scott coming in. Riggs was a damaged cop with right. demons that considered killing himself from time to time. And he acted crazy and did put himself in risky situations because he didn't really want to be alive anymore. And he was a good guy that lost his wife and kid and didn't really want to be here any longer. Sean William Scott is not this like deep emotional actor, bro, that is gonna fulfill that same role. He's a he's another comedy um, guy, along with Damon. Well, they're saying they're not. I mean, they're saying that the the girl that they're bringing in basically the season is actually supposed to take over for Riggs. She's going to be the mentally unstable person. Uh, it's not even supposed to be Sean William Scott. So interesting. We'll see how that goes. All right. Well, uh, let us know below. Have you seen Lead the Weapon? Did you care for it? Uh, what did you think about Murdoch and Riggs and this whole situation? Let us know what you think below in the comments. Hey, thanks for watching the whole video, man. That's really, really cool of you. If you look over here, there's another video, and you can watch that, and then just watch more. And if you're not subscribed, uh, you should probably do that, too. Subscribe, please. 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 I hate myself sometimes.